sitting nice and tall. Hands in our lap, voices up. Thank you. Remember when we sing that welcome song, that beginning song? Sometimes I sing it up high, sometimes I sing it down low. And I get to everybody singing a song. Everybody singing a song. Whatever fits your voice better. All right, Middle Academy scholars will be able to first move to music. And we're going to do that in a different way today. Discover our secret word of the day. Sing down by the riverside. And then tap, out, tap, echo, and repeat a few rhythms. So those are our goals for the day. Um, I'll be honest with you about uh, the song that I had chosen to move to music to. Uh, was called The Muffin Man. And maybe some of you know that from or maybe your early childhood. Do you know The Muffin Man, The Muffin Man, The Muffin Man? That is the song that I had picked out for this week. Um, but then I thought, you know what? I don't, I don't think middle schoolers really would want to dance to Muffin Man. So here's what I'd like you to do to challenge you and expand your learning. I would like you to go find one of your favorite songs by whatever favorite artist you have and just take two minutes, maybe listen to the whole thing if you want to, and I just want you to listen to it and really focus on the steady beat. And as you listen, maybe you're just going to do a two finger tap on your hand or on the pillow of the couch next to you or on your leg. And I just want you to see if you can feel the beat to some of your own music. So pause the video here go do that. Okay, so now I hope that as you unpause, you've just tapped the beat to that song of your own choice. Um, it's a really good idea as you start to develop your own musical intuition and your musicianship uh, to just be able to hear music that you just casually listen to or listen to on your own and be able to find that steady beat within it. Um, it's one of the first skills that you can build up on your own. Uh, we're going to move on to our secret word of the day. We have three letters to fill in. So a lot of the letters are given to us already. We're going to try to do this pretty fast. Uh, my plan is that we're only going to do this uh, right through the end of November, and then we're going to switch and do rhythms instead of pitches. So it's we're going to try to get as fast as we can because then we're going to take a break from it, from it for a while. All right. First one, on a line, you're in space. What do you think? That one's on a line. I can tell it's on a line because the line goes straight through the head of the note. If it's on a line, a sentence is fine. If it's on a line, a sentence is fine. And we're just going to try to do it without giving us a little guide and writing it up there. And the sentence I like to use, every good burger deserves fries. Every good burger deserves fries. Every good burger deserves fries. What letter did I say? What letter represents the word I said? So that I can fill it in the link. Every good burger. Burger, 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 burger. So I'm going to write a B for burger on my first blank. Okay, so B L. All right, is this one on a line or in a space? That one's in a space. I know it's in a space because it's getting smushed between the two lines. If it's in a space, you use your face. If it's in a space, you use your face. So you start at the bottom, you spell the word face F A C E, F A C E, F A C E. What letter did I say when I hit the head of that note? That's the circle part. A, 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 B, L, A, N, K, blank, T. All right, is this one on a line or in a space? <clears throat> that one's also in a space. Looks a lot like this one, just the stem's pointing different way. If it's in a space, you use your face. If it's in a space, you use your face. If it's in a space, you use your face. F, A, C, E, F, A, C, E. What letter did I say when I hit that of that note? The letter E. My secret word of the day is blanket. And I picked that word because I was just thinking about how it's starting to get colder now. We're getting into November. And wouldn't it be nice to just snuggle up with a blanket and watch TV or watch TikTok or whatever you do. <clears throat> Mrs. Isles, you know about TikTok? Oh, yes, I do. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is to sing a song called Down by the Riverside. Now, in our last video, we talked about African-American spirituals. And just as a quick refresher of what those are, African-American spirituals were songs. Um, they were songs that had a lot of Western African traditions. And they were sung by slaves in the southern United States. 
in the 1700s and until about 1865 when the 13th Amendment was passed, which um, abolished slavery. So they took West African traditions. Uh, originally it started with drumming before drumming was banned um, by the people that owned the slaves. Um, so they started to use body percussion and they developed instruments that were similar to what we now know as the banjo to accompany their own music. Um, and they were often songs of worship, praising whatever their higher power was. But they also often sang of sorrow and sadness and hardships and pain. Uh, they Like the song we sang last time, sometimes I feel like a motherless child was about how families were torn apart. Um, yeah, it was, a, it was a sad time. The music was very sad. Sometimes it was hopeful, thinking maybe we can find a way out of this if, if you know, the greater power that be is looking down on us. Luckily, that did happen. It took much longer than it probably should have. It, pro it should never have happened. But um, So most of the time, the songs were sourful, sourful. Sometimes they were joyful. Sometimes they were in praise of their greater, greater power. Um... Yeah, and it, it eventually developed, after the abolishment of slavery, it developed into blues, and blues kind of led to the jazz movement, and jazz kind of started helping us out to get to rock and roll and rap. Um, so yeah, if without African American spirituals and the beautiful music traditions that they brought from Western Africa, we wouldn't have the music that I'm sure most of you listen to today, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna sing a song called Down by the Riverside today. And as we talked about in our last video, most of the traditions of African American spirituals were done orally, which means uh, they weren't written down, they were told or usually sung in order to teach them. So I am going to write the lyrics to the song down in the description, but I'd like you not to use them unless um, it really helps you to learn it. I'd like you to try to do it just by listening to my voice and trying to just get it in your memory. Um, it's not a, a complicated song, the lyrics are are pretty repetitive so hopefully you catch on to it fast if you find you are struggling you can just peek down at the lyrics in the description below okay uh, so I'm gonna go to my piano and I'm gonna tell you what the lyrics are first uh, this song is called down by the riverside but it's also known as ain't gonna study war no more um, it wasn't published until the 1920s by Fisk University uh, after the abolishment of slavery, slavery, there were some musical groups that were started by former slaves. Um, and this was, Fisk University was one of the places that uh, kind of developed that. Uh, so it's, it starts off by saying, gonna lay down my sword and shield down by the riverside. Those are the first words. So I'm just gonna play that little bit and sing it to you. And right now you're just listening. Gonna lay down my sword and shield down by the riverside. Gonna lay down my sword and shield down by the riverside. After that, I repeat myself. Down by the riverside. Then I repeat myself again. Down by the riverside. Okay, so let's sing that much. Gonna lay down my sword and shield down by the riverside, down by the riverside, down by the riverside. There we go. Sing with me. Gonna lay down my sword and shield down by the riverside, down by the riverside, down by the riverside. Okay. Next part starts the same. Gonna lay down my sword and shield down by the riverside. Sounds like this. Gonna lay down my sword and shield down by the riverside. Sing that with me. It's a lot like what we sang at the beginning. Gonna lay down my sword and shield down by the riverside. Then it changes. Ain't gonna study war no more. When we say when we're saying going, we say it really fast, so we're saying ain't going. If I look at my music, it says G-O-I-N apostrophe. So we're going to kind of swoosh it into one syllable. Ain't go study war no more. Ain't go study war no more. Sing that part with me. Here we go. Ain't go study war no more. After that, the song kind of changes. 
So I'd like to sing that first part together. Gonna lay down my sword and shield down by the riverside. Down by the riverside, down by the riverside. Gonna lay down my sword and shield down by the riverside. Ain't gonna study war no. Okay, that should do your best. If you make a mistake, make it big. Gonna lay down my sword and shield down by the riverside.
tap, echo, and repeat some rhythms. So I have here my two rhythm sticks. So what I'd like you to do is find something similar to this that you can use to do some rhythm exercises. Uh, you might not have any sticks like this in your house, so I have like two pencils here. That would work, two markers would work. Uh, maybe if the grown-up in your house says it's okay, you can grab like two spoons from the kitchen. Um, or if you can't think of anything, you can just use your two fingers and that works too. Now if you need to pause the video and grab what you need, pause, that works. I'm gonna carry on. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap a pattern in music uh, that's called a rhythm. A rhythm is a pattern in music. So the first thing I want you to do is just listen to what I'm doing. When you hear the pattern that I'm doing, tap it, either on your sticks or with your fingers. Um, and we're just gonna see if you can hear these patterns, play them with me and keep the same steady beat as me. So here's the first one. Oh, when I'm done with the pattern, I'm gonna say fine and put my sticks up here on my shoulders. Fine means stop. Fine means the song or the sound that we're making is over. So when I say fine, that means we're done. Here's your first rhythm. Fine. Okay. Here's another one. Let's see if you can get this one. If you are someone who knows a little bit about music, uh, the patterns that I'm doing right now use quarter notes and eighth notes, um, and sometimes we've called them taws and tts. You might have learned it that way. Uh, I'm going to do another pattern using quarter notes and eighth notes, taws and tts. Uh, this one sounds like this. a little bit about rhythms and music. Now I'm going to add in a quarter rest. When I add a quarter rest, that means silence. A quarter rest looks like the tattoo that I have on my wrist here. That's a quarter rest. Uh, it means a beat of silence or um, sometimes it means a breath depending on the kind of music we make. Um, but for us, we're just going to separate our hands if you're using sticks or pencils or whatever. Uh, so now I'm adding, I have taws, quarter notes, I have tts, eighth notes, and I have quarter rests, uh, shh, we might call it. Uh, we're gonna, this is what we're gonna start doing after November, when we get into December. We're gonna switch to this rhythm stuff and we're gonna all gonna get really good at it. So, here's a new rhythm, adding in quarter rests. I'm gonna do another one that adds in a quarter rest. I have to think of one. Okay, there we go. Fine. Uh, now I'm gonna add in something that you might know as tika tika. They're also called sixteen notes because 16th notes move a little bit faster, I'm gonna slow my tempo down. Uh, they sound like this. Fine. Now let's do two more. This one will combine all of those different kinds of notes that I just talked about. I'm gonna just have to listen to see if you can hear what they are. Fine. 
one. Um, This is how it's supposed to Let's feed it there. <laughs> I missed once and I forgot to do the rest. That's okay. Okay, uh, for a couple, maybe like a minute and a half, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, I'm gonna do a rhythm that's gonna last for four beats. You are gonna echo that rhythm, but then I'm gonna go directly into a new rhythm. So I'm gonna play, you're gonna play. I'm gonna play, you're gonna play. Now in music, we group things usually in groups of four. So maybe my first rhythm would be a very simple steady beat of then you echo back. My turn, your turn. My turn, your turn. My turn, your turn. Okay, uh, we only have one thing left to do today, and that is our train exit. So breathe with the Middle Academy. Here we go. Thank you for making music with me today. Hope you have a magical musical day, and I will see you next week. Take care, Middle Academy.